Look at this. Mm -hmm. That almost was an accident. Yeah. Wow. I All saw right. that. And then the system decided to wow, take advantage of it. it. Wow! <laughs> that's so cool! <laughs> I'm sorry, let me calm down. Oh, hey. That is so cool because that was real time. Yep, don't calm down. This is crazy. That is crazy. And then this is the boring part. But. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next customer. I'm well, thank you. Does the temperature feel okay? Perfect. Cool. Alright. Oh, cool. What's this stuff about? The oh, that? Yeah, your camera. Well, not this stuff. Well, this looks cool, but the camera and the mic. So I'm a YouTuber covering oh, nice. Tesla's self driving. basically try to see if the self-driving is able to do the job mm -hmm. that would replace me one day. Mm. Take you from A to B without me doing anything. Right. Do you feel safe? Oh yeah. That's good. feel safe because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case override. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're not at a point yet where you can click it and forget it, but uh -huh. the system is already way better than most of these silly apes that are driving around everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> funny. Oh, this is so cool. Is it using satellites? For the, uh, the road. Oh, the system? Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's all cameras. All cameras. Yeah. Mm. It's functioning like we do, you know, with mm -hmm. eyes and a brain. Right. Except it has, effectively, eight eyes. <laughs> 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 Looking all around. Three up front, uh, four total, on, or two on each side, and yeah. one in the back. Doesn't really use the back camera too much for the self-driving. <laughs> you know, I'm but. checking, right? Like, I'm, I'm seeing the little um, avatars of the cars. And oh, and the I'm people? Like, yes, and I'm like, <laughs> what? That's crazy! Yeah, I can actually spread that out with that wow. data access. This is an active thinking mind. It's yes, actually interpreting highly everything. highly impressive. Jeez It's not too common, but sometimes it'll even actually depict like dogs and stuff. Are you kidding yeah. me? Like How if somebody's walking their dog across like a crosswalk, yeah. it'll show the dog and then the person. <laughs> it's so I funny. Wonder, it's so funny. I've never seen it show cats. I don't right. know if it doesn't like cats. It's just a them. dog thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's a dog. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is a lot more of a detailed render for yeah. the visual than you would get in a typical Tesla. This is the full beta. It's been pretty crazy watching it progress over the last year. Mm -hmm. and I just, I can't imagine another year from now how wow. good it's going to be. Yeah, it probably have like real like um, pictures, like not like drawings of the pictures. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we constantly get updates to the visual as well. Mm -hmm. Like before these solid lines, mm -hmm. they would be like more dotted or less resolution. Um, and now the details on the cars will actually show like blinkers, the brake wow. lights, of course, and even if there's a door open, like if someone opens the door. Yes, that is actually. And it'll show a person there too. Wow. It's nutty. Yeah. These are the best software because engineers on the planet. Because it has to recognize planet. what it's seeing and then to interpret it and then put it in the visual, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, this is basically uh, a visual for us to yeah. show what the car is actually looking at, determining mm -hmm. like the red line being like a do not pass type of scenario. Right. Because it's not separation. just a photo, it's, it's, it's taking actual intelligence yeah. to recognize it, you know what I mean? Because yep. if it was just a photo, it wouldn't matter, right? But like, that's crazy. That's what you realize when you dig in deep, is the hard part about machine learning. Because yeah. it's a lot harder to teach a machine over time, like this is a cat. Right. You more so show it a bunch of pictures and say, this is not a cat, this is not a cat, this is not oh. a cat. And eventually it goes, okay, if none of those are cats, then this must be. Wow, it's that's really, harder. It's a lot harder. You have to know what it's not it's, in order it's, to yeah. know what it is. And it's, those are constant data points that are being fed in by software engineers. Mm. And once we get to a point to where the AI can do that for itself, yeah. that's when the speed will be, or it'll, it'll rapidly speed up how fast machines learn. <laughs> It's crazy. That is crazy. But now I'm starting to think, I wonder if that's how the human mind works. Like, do we just, I wonder if that's how we... The process of elimination, yes, basically. exactly. Yeah. yeah. See, we have a leg up on the system. So there's a big, 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 big flaw to this. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a flaw. It's more so a lack of a skill, which is memory. Mm -hmm. 
we have experience and memory and to know if there's a particularly hard intersection somewhere, mm -hmm. we know it ahead of time. Yeah. And if we've been through it several times, we know how to do it every time. Right. Every time this system activates, it's like it's seeing it for the first time. Mm. It doesn't hold on to that persistent experience. <laughs> So, you know, it's so funny you say because it's so funny because we uh, tie memories to emotions, which mm -hmm. are a very fickle thing. Yes. Yeah. So that's crazy. Because yeah. it's like it doesn't have any emotions. It's like, no, this is what it is. Like, you know what I yep. mean? Jeez. What, what is kind of hilarious is from using it as long as I have, I've sort of, I guess, projected emotion into it in a way, mm -hmm. like how we anthropomorphize objects all the time. Yeah. Because sometimes it'll go up and it'll start doing something and it act a little weird. Yeah. And it's almost like it's losing its confidence or is unsure of itself. And I'm like, oh. you're okay, buddy. You got oh. this. Come on. <laughs> That's so cute. It's a reassurance. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, if like it could that. hear me, that'd be awesome. Right. I, or if it could talk back like Siri or something right. and I would just be like, hey, how do you feel about this corner? Yeah. And he'd be like, I don't have oh feelings, God, but there's like a not a good movie. chance for this. Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> like how James Bond's um, AI talks to her. Yeah. yeah. Or even yeah. Uh, Jarvis and Iron Man or something. Right, exactly. Like, hello. See, it knows to actually wait. It will do a ride on red when it's clear. It sees yeah. these cars in blue. It's yeah. looking at them and like paying wow, attention. Wow, it, it literally feels like you're driving. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it Does it? Yes. I would. If I was just came in here and asked you questions, I would don't think I would have noticed. I actually, there's there's a, a playlist I'm starting to build up on my channel called Incognito, mm -hmm. basically, or like uh, absolutely no reactions. Look at this. Mm -hmm. That almost was an accident. Yeah. Wow. All I right. saw that. And then the system decided to wow, take advantage of it. Wow! Wow! <laughs> that's so cool! I'm sorry. Let me calm down. Oh, hey. But that is so cool because that was real time. Yep. Don't calm down. This is crazy. That is crazy. And then this is the boring part, but <laughs> going through rush yeah, hour. Yeah, rush hour. But it's probably not even that much stress to you. Yeah, I mean, I like, doing okay. this as much as I do, it's like I'm desensitized to it all here because I, I see it all the time. So, like, obviously people are going to be playing on their phones while this is going on, right? Like, while the car is driving. So Eventually. Yeah, yeah, eventually. So yeah. how do you feel about that part? Like, I, not having any uh, human eyes. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't think the risk is going to be that much, right? Because there's obviously a lot of testing going on. Yes. But, like, do you feel confident right now the way the program is handling that? I want to say human error, human stupidity, whatever it is. Yeah, for right now, I feel like there's probably a 60-ish percent chance that it'll do most of its trips okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that about 39% of that failure will be points where it just gets stuck and stops moving. Okay. Because it can't figure something out. Okay. And then maybe 2 to 3% of that is where it, it might hit a pothole or, or another human gets involved. Because mm -hmm. uh, as, as it stands right now, there are two really big things it needs and it's the ability to detect and avoid small objects or potholes in the road yeah. as well as being able to detect and slow down for massive dips in residential areas Okay. because right now it'll just dive in boom Ooh. and I've had a couple of calls where I've had to right. get involved real quick or we yeah. might catch some air or lose a bumper Wow. Um, it's good at speed bumps and such right. I was like, ask you about speed bumps. it yeah. gets to the point to where we're getting to nitty-gritty details smaller and smaller things that can happen uh, I would say there's still a pretty decent safety risk without a driver like me involved just because of the human factor. Right. Now, when we get to a point where it's over 50% of these cars are able to do this and do this right. well, I, I think a lot of that risk goes away. Okay. Because most of the issue are distracted humans, human emotional, yeah. arrogant, yeah. Uh, entitled, like just yeah. like all of the emotions. Anticipation, anxiety, yeah. like there's a bunch of different things. If you eliminate that and these systems function the way this does, you eliminate traffic, you eliminate mm. uh, probably down to a, a minuscule amount impacts or issues or collisions. It'll probably be like headline news when there's a car accident. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be several years before we get to that level of proficiency. Yeah. But I don't think it's as far away as some people think. Maybe. Mm two years, I think we'll start seeing the first applications of legitimate robo-taxi. Mm -hmm. um, I really, it's hard to see past five years with the speed of technological improvement. Yeah. It's, it's it's so fast. So quickly. It's exponential, so it might, it seems like it's slow now. Mm -hmm. And then in 10 years, everything's like driverless. Navy, I was <laughs> yeah. in the Navy, we were still using old, old, like 1990s oh, stuff, yeah. okay? So this Prior is Navy. Yeah, there we go. Yep. So see, this is like, wow, am I in the future? Yeah, when I was, uh, right before I got out of the Navy, I yeah. started hearing the whispers about them having, like, iPads and boot camp and such. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, wouldn't that be <laughs> yeah, nice? Yeah, exactly. Gosh. It's a different time. <laughs> That's dope. And I'm just stoked to be at the forefront of this, to watch it progress, mm -hmm. to be a part of the, you know, crowd that's helping this get there. Yeah. Which is really exciting. They actually went wide release to now, basically, anybody who bought full self-driving can get into the beta. Mm. And it's, uh... 
before it went wide, there was, I think, close to 200,000 beta testers. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't even know. Like, mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get that information on one of Tesla's earnings reports or something. Yeah. But it's the thing that I'm looking forward to is like this is what you would normally see minus a rainbow road. I yeah, have that on. I, I saw this, the rainbow. I, I was like, what is that? Yeah. That's kind of cool. It's just fun to have on yeah, I gotcha. when I have uh, when a customer is in, maybe spark some conversation. Yeah. And like, so now we've switched back to the beta. Right. What I'm looking forward oh, to. Oh, I wanted to ask you one quick question. Yeah. At night, how is it picking up the video quality at night to, to even recognize the objects and stuff? How's you know, that? crazy enough, it actually seems to do better at night. Oh. And so the, the camera exposure, I don't know how deep it goes, maybe even to a little bit of the infrared, mm -hmm. um, which would make basically it night vision capable at that point. But oh, let's see if you do this right, because you can't be in that turning lane. Ooh, what do you yeah. do? Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh See, almost, this is one of those almost. moments. Yeah, he's unsure. Where it's like, hmm, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go straight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I'm going to yeah. take over just yeah, to just a little bit. prevent that. Yeah. But that's another. See, that is more so because it saw the open lane. Yes, he was confused. Yeah. Yep. I got it. Yeah, I guess my car is androgynous because the name is Mjolnir, which is Thor's hammer. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what origin is that language? Uh, Nordic. Nordic. Uh, yep, okay. Yep. Gotcha. So this is actually want me to like stop you in the alley. Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. okay. Yeah, I usually when I drive, I, I stop there. Sounds good. But yeah, nighttime is great. Um, I, I think maybe it just has good. Oh, well, it's great if there's enough street lights. Mm. I should say. Does this work Perfect. for you? Yes. Thank you so All much. All right. Well, and if you're joy. cool with it, you can be fully featured in a customer reactions video. Oh, nice. I'm cool with yeah? that. Yeah. I'm awesome. Cool. Yeah, man. Thank cool. you. Awesome. Just hold that and hold push it. the door at the same time. Push it at the same time. There you Thank go. You. Fancy, fancy. Heck yeah, have a good one. I need more customers like her. That was fun. A lot of good questions.